For the first time, Taiwan is participating in the annual Melbourne Fringe Festival that's currently underway in Australia. This alternative art festival went virtual this year due to the pandemic. Working with Taiwan's representative office in Sydney, the Ministry of Culture organized a program of wacky performance art productions tailor-made for the virtual stage. Our reporter Stephanie Yang has more. The magician asked me to think of a movie. Through a series of questions, the magician was able to guess the movie I had just thought of. And then there's this trick. The magician guesses the card I chose. <laughs> this is a magic show called Transhumanism Affair, performed by Taiwanese artist Shan Cho in association with Chen Yutian and Wang Wei. The production features hypnosis, illusion, and body manipulation. It's one of three productions in the festival showcase Fringe Focus Taiwan. <laughs> I want people to experience how, even if we're in a different time and space, we can still have interactions and connections through this work. We hope to allow the audience to engage using their smartphones to have a different kind of interaction through a screen. Uh, this time at the Australian Fringe Festival, what's interesting is that we can interact with the screen, so I can make use of a great deal of my research. Another Taiwanese production at the Fringe Festival is a contemporary dance piece, Something About Skin, choreographed and performed by Li Zhongxuan and Zhang Jianhao. It's a 30-minute live stream featuring the perspective of a moving camera attached to a robot vacuum. I feel that the viewing angle of this piece is very important. We use a robot vacuum as a medium. The camera is set on the robot, offering a view into how the dancer interacts with space. Through this different perspective, you can see the onstage performers in a way you normally wouldn't. I personally really like how we use the sound of Taiwanese temple fairs and parades in the piece. The purpose is to celebrate together and to drive away bad things. Our hope is to convey that to our audience. I want to share actually my personal story. Taiwan is also represented by the production Isoland Bar Cloud. In this work, guests can join artists from Taiwan for a digital drink date. Visitors may also get a tarot reading, be guided in meditation, or discuss deep personal truths over a cocktail. We created a festival that is happening online, that's happening in lots of really innovative ways as well, on the telephone, via text message. Um, with home delivered art, I wanted to make sure that we included some amazing um, contemporary artists from Taiwan, uh, which I think is um, uh, the home of some of our most interesting artists. Um, and we came up with the idea of Fringe Focus Taiwan. Do you use a show for online, for digital platform? So that's the challenge between me and then Taiwanese artists. It's probably like one of the first time that the audience can interact online with the artists in mini chats. So when the um, audience is giving feedback while they're watching the performance, the artists could interact with them. So this is almost like you're watching a show while the artist is sitting next to you. This is Taiwan's first year participating in the Melbourne Fringe Festival, which runs until November 29th. So far, the reception has been warm. Michelle Tang, the marketing campaign manager of Fringe Focus Taiwan, says that two of the shows have made it to the festival's top ten. For most news, Stephanie Yang, Wang Yanchen in Taipei.